All right, guys, short and sweet today. I've noticed my yellow tang and the rest of my fish to get so colorful. So let's get right into it. I'll show you how I use it, and I guarantee your fish will get more colorful if you do. All right, this is me being goofy, guys. It's Cellcon, concentrate. Uh, there's no endorsement here, so they're not paying Tom Reefer at all. Back in the early 90s, when I had a large 250-gallon tank, I had a yellow tang with some serious lateral line disease, and back then, this was the go-to product to cure that. If you're new to reef keeping, lateral line is a disease that tangs can carry, and it starts behind the eye and travels down the lateral line. My yellow tang actually had a bit of it when I first got it, and it was way lighter in color, and it's really been healing, and its yellow color is really deepening. All right, here it is. Let me show you how I use it in my food. I start out with putting it in my SA pellets. You shake it first and then you put it in in the drop level. You want to try to soak the food, but not over soak it. You want the food to absorb all the liquid. It's great for any freeze dried food or flakes or pellets you have because when you put it in, it'll soak into the food. Don't expect things to happen overnight. You have to be a little religious with it. Take your time, put it in any kind of freeze dried food. Here I am feeding the slow sinking pellets after they've soaked for about three or four minutes. freeze-dried mysis. If you feed your fish flake food, soak your flake food with the cell con. That's another good one. All right, so we've been talking about lateral line and the tang, and this is how I get the cell con to my tang. This is a folded up sheet of nori, and what I do is put some drops on the nori itself, and I let that sit there for about three minutes or so. It'll soak in, and then I flip it over, and I do the same thing on the other side. You don't want the nori to come apart in the water. So by adding the cell con, it actually makes the nori a bit soggy. And then when the tang eats it, it takes in the cell con as well as the nori. I showed this in my three DIY tools video that nobody watched, but this is some nylon netting. And I just fold it up inside there and I use these magnets to place it down inside the aquarium. I broke these magnets off an innovative marine fish feeding device, which I didn't really like. And then I just slide this down inside and allow the tang to come up and eat it. I keep the nori in there all day. There's lots of talk about how long and whether it would pollute the tank. The tang doesn't eat it all in one day, so I remove it at the end of the day and then replace it the following day. See, I told you, short and sweet. See you next time, guys. You can see in the background, in the 20, guys, I put some live rock in there. I think I'm going to do mushroom dominated. Fish guy Mike has some great mushrooms in his place. I just want to cover it with mushrooms, maybe some zoas.